Good morning. What's going on there, guys? Uh, it is the Earthmaster here. About 11 a.m. on this uh, Monday, December 13, 2021 date. Had some strong, super strong winds overnight. Uh, I believe gusting 50, 60 mile per hour or possibly stronger. Uh, knocked down the power here in Northern California to a pretty wide swath of, um, of uh, folks. One of those, in, including me. Stream went down, of course, unfortunately, due to the lack of power. Uh, was brought up a couple hours ago, so now we're back live on the channel. Uh, hopefully it remains that way. It's still pretty strong. Got a lot of wind, uh, further wind and rain coming in. But uh, ho hopefully we stay on the air this time. Uh, it's just been a crazy, crazy night and morning so far with this weather coming into California. The latest quake on the globe. A 2.7 earthquake into the Alaska region. Pretty quiet throughout the rest of the North American plate. Let's go ahead and check out the activity around the region here. You can see most of the majority of the earthquake activity stretching all the way from the west or over to the west around the western edge of the Pacific Ring of Fire and a little bit down around the South America region. But uh, overall, it looks like California northward through the Pacific Northwest, including the area off the coast of Oregon, uh, pretty quiet over the last 24 hours. Uh, even activity continues to remain um, below background levels in the southern part of the state. Ridgecrest area, San Jacinto Fault area, San Andreas Fault, all showing just very small amounts of microquake activity over the last 24 hours. Um, around the Pecos, Texas area, a little bit of movement out there around Guadalupe Peak, south of the New Mexico Texas border. I've seen some twos kick off there as well, and a couple uh, earthquakes throughout the Oklahoma region, some twos as well in that region. Uh, the New Madrid zone, seen uh, some microquakes around the Rid Wrigley, Tennessee area again. Looks like uh, just a 1.6 for the largest quake in that little pair of earthquakes right there 9.2 kilometers for that one let's see what else we got here in the Puerto Rico area things dying down not a whole lot to report in that region around Guatemala or uh, actually Mexico 5.7 this one occurred last night I believe late last night kicking up there right around the state or the uh, line looks like right smack dab on the Guatemala uh, Mexico line right I'm, I don't even think you can get any closer than that 180 kilometers for that 5.7 pretty deep movement inland into the middle America trench Got some activity kicking up down dip downstream there uh, Some movement around the Peru area as well and also the Chile region, but overall nothing significant in the South America uh, region Did have a 4.9 uh, a little bit ago 29 kilometers into the subduction zone this little trench region the South Sandwich Trench also some further activity over here in the uh that was last night this was last night right here yesterday uh, south of south africa along the southwestern indian ridge 5.5 kicked up there we haven't seen any further movement though following that earthquake uh the big picture kind of over here along the west right now fiji through the indonesia area and also up through japan still seeing some movement uh, looking at some activity that did kick up here along the Japan Trench and areas northward to this little bend in the plate. We've seen uh, quite a bit of fours and fives kick, it, kick off here yesterday. Uh, since then, just a little bit of renewed activity. Uh, 5.2 here and also that uh, super deep earthquake 4.4, 529 kilometers that struck yesterday. Uh, a little bit of earthquake activity also kicking up around the Philippines. Some further deep movement all up and down this region, 5.5, uh, 5, 156 kilometers. And of course, uh, some further <clears throat> further activity along the Java Trench and the Indonesia Islands region, all seeing some uh, surface quaking in that area. Hawaii has been relatively quiet. We haven't seen uh, any uptick in earthquake movement, uh, just a couple scattered earthquakes around the Mauna Kea and Kilauea volcano, and of course the southeast flank. Lohi Seamount, the submarine volcano out there remains quiet with the uh, earthquake activity. 
and uh, it's been that way ever since the uh, relief of pressure out here along the west coast. Uh, what else we got here in the Yellowstone area? Not a whole lot to report there as well, folks. Uh, things looking pretty quiet. So uh, stream is up. Hopefully it stays up. I will be, uh, I will be uh, hoping that the power doesn't go down. It, uh, it kind of sucks at night when we get the power going down because I'm, I'm one of those folks that has to have a fan on me. Uh, even in the wintertime, yes, i, I got to have a fan blowing air on me. Otherwise, it feels like I'm suffocating. So uh, when that power went off about 4 this morning, uh, it was there was no sleep. No sleep because there was no fan. And I had a couple, uh, at least one little one not feeling good. So Miss Mimi's was up uh, the majority of the night and uh, didn't get much sleep at all with a loss of power and a uh, little one that I believe she's uh, teething that always makes for some fun nights unfortunately not only for the adults but uh, for the the baby as well so hoping uh, the power stays on at least and as long as it does the stream will stay up but uh, just FYI it may go down again with this heavy band of uh, rain coming at us here in about 20 minutes and the strong winds being sustained up there 40 50 miles an hour possibly stronger There's a couple limbs down in the back have to do some uh, some uh, chainsaw work on our next clear day but overall we're still here we're still up getting some much needed rain let's just hope the power stays on all right guys we'll be off here uh, off of the live stream but live stream is up we'll chat you guys a little bit later peace out